11 News at 6. We're talking with a passenger who was aboard that Continental Airlines jet that went off the runway and burst into flames. You'll hear why she says she's suing the carrier. Tonight, a survivor of this fiery Continental Airlines crash says she is taking the carrier to court. It's the first lawsuit filed from the accident last month in Denver. We talked with that passenger today about what she experienced when the plane skidded off the runway and crashed into a ravine. 11 News reporter Kevin Reese also found out why she's not satisfied with the way the airline is dealing with passengers. You know, I relive it every day, the screaming of, oh my God, we're going to die. Which... Melissa Kraft was in the very back row on the right side. She says in the aborted takeoff, the nose left the runway and slammed back down. She heard a bang and saw fire out her window as the plane skidded into a ravine. Panels and wires dropped from the ceiling and everything went dark. And that's when I turned and looked at my friend and I said, we're going to die. Now, nearly a month later, she's the first to file suit against Continental and the flight crew, claiming they were negligent and could have avoided the accident. What's clear is that this was uh, either pilot error or a mechanical function or a combination of the two. The initial NTSB report says both engines appear to have been working normally, that a crosswind and oversteering the nose gear might be to blame. I do know that as we were starting to get on the plane, they did say that they, the engine was a, was a problem, they were doing something, and then we were going to be held back. The lawsuit does not ask for a specific dollar figure at this point, but the passengers say they certainly want more than Continental has offered so far. $3,000 each for the luggage lost in the crash and fire, and 10% off their next Continental flight. The Continental representative insisted on going with my client shopping to supervise their purchases, and he actually had to make the purchases himself. Really? Absolutely. And I think that's just weird. A Continental spokesperson tells us the payments are only the initial compensation, that lawsuits will be handled as the NTSB investigation continues. Right now, both sides agree on only one thing, that everyone is relieved we're fighting over the rights of survivors and not the dead. Kevin Reese, 11 News.